The Shawshank Redemption is a 1994 film starring Tim Robbins and Morgan Freeman, and it's directed by Frank Darabont. We follow a banker by the name of Andy Dufresne, who finds himself in prison for both his wife and her lover's murder that he didn't commit. Andy is a rather quiet guy, but he also stands up for himself and the friends he eventually makes in prison, like the scene where he manages to get some brew for the rooftop workers after convincing Captain Hadley not to throw him off a ledge. Along the way, we're introduced to Red, played by the great Morgan Freeman, and these two have a fantastic chemistry. At first, Red doesn't think someone like Andy could survive in prison. In his words, it looked like a stiff breeze could blow Andy over. But as time goes by, Red and Andy become really good friends. Red even provides a couple gifts here and there for a price, like a rock hammer, and eventually a Rita Hayworth poster as a welcome back from the whole present that later comes into play. Tim Robbins does a great job playing Andy Dufresne. I love the evolution of his character, going from the quiet guy that's wrongfully accused to coming out of his shell and eventually beating the odds against him. It was also nice to see him use his wits, like helping out both the prisoners and the CEOs with their banking problems, which makes him more respected. Bob Gunton plays the conniving warden Samuel Norton, and Gunton puts in a great performance as a man with the holier-than-now persona and a snarling attitude towards Andy. He proves to be very cold-hearted, like when he has the new guy in prison Tommy killed, which was a big shock for me when I first saw this movie. I will say the eventual demise for Warden Norton is very satisfying. One of my favorite actors, Clancy Brown, has a great role here as Captain Hadley, who might be the most brutal character in the film. He's beating down prisoners with his baton and coming up with remarks that are both menacing and hilarious. When do we eat? You eat when we say you eat. You shit when we say you shit, and you piss when we say you piss. You got that, you maggot dick motherfucker? <laughs> On your feet. <coughs> William Sadler is another actor that I find to be very underrated, and he plays Haywood, one of the guys in Red's crew. Sadler puts in a great performance as well, and this might be my personal favorite turn from him. It's hard for me to pick who has my favorite performance in the movie overall, but I think I'm going to go with Morgan Freeman. But Tim Robbins, Bob Gunton, Clancy Brown, Sadler, and James Whitmore all do a fantastic job with their roles. This movie has some of my favorite writing and overall dialogue ever. It's really colorful and highly enjoyable to sit through. We have some more lighthearted dialogue and even goofy insults that I get a kick out of, like fuck stick or what is your malfunction, you fat barrel of monkey spunk, to the more dramatic and intense scenes, such as the incredibly sad ending for a great character like Brooks. I doubt they'll kick up any fuss, not for an old crook like me. There's a ton of memorable moments due to the knock it out the park acting from the entire cast and their chemistry is awesome. I also have to shout out Thomas Newman, who's one of my favorite film composers, and the score in Shawshank overall is amazing. The music is beautifully done, and it still leaves an impact on me to this day. It's a score that I've always loved. If there's anything I don't like personally in the film, maybe it's Andy being attacked by the Sisters gang in that arc, and it doesn't bother me much. But it's always a part in the film that I always go, oh man, that sucks for Andy to go through that. It does feel great when Captain Hadley beats the living hell out of the leader of the gang Boggs. So it doesn't bother me much. Andy's escape sequence is incredibly shot. The tracking from the camera while Andy climbs up pipes and he has to crawl through a mountain of shit to reach outside. And the shot in the rain where Andy finally makes it through and embraces the rain that's falling on him. I love the retelling of the escape when Warden Norton finally realizes that Andy's gone. He rips the Rita Hayworth poster off the wall, and we find out that Andy's been tunneling into the wall for about 20 years with what I believe is a rock hammer. Later on in the film, Red is finally granted parole after being turned down repeatedly. 
He's fed up and explaining to him that he's done his time and he doesn't give a shit anymore. The judges admire his honesty and he finds himself released. His life begins to mirror the end of Brooks' life. He finds himself working at the same grocery store, etc. And just when we think Red is going to go out the same way as Brooks, he decides to leave town and eventually meet up with Andy, who gave him clues while they were in prison. For instance, Sawataneo. Throughout the film, I'm either having a good amount of laughs or I'm nearly tearing up. All of this, I feel, is masterfully done by Frank Darabont. I've seen Shawshank well over 50 times in my 26 years of living. I wholeheartedly love this movie and it never gets old with every rewatch. I'm going to give The Shawshank Redemption a personal 11 out of 10. And that's it, y'all. It's your boy Fro. What do you think about Shawshank? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Comment below. Let me know your thoughts. This movie, after a very long time, still holds the number one spot on IMDb. It's the highest rated film of all time on that website. I've been going on IMDb since I was about nine years old, and it's still pretty cool to see it at number one. I'm not mad that it's at number one at all. I think this is a fantastic movie, damn near flawless, and I highly recommend it if you've never seen it. But in the meantime, thank y'all for watching. I appreciate y'all. Check out my other reviews when you get a chance. Fro Thizzle, I'm out. Bong. Shawshank Redemption. Yes.